Hey, welcome YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to install CentOS 7. And I want you to follow along. Um, what you need to watch the video on how to make a bootable flash drive. And once you've watched that, look at the link below. You'll be able to see that once you've set up your flash drive and you are able to do that, plug it into your USB port and then boot from flash, you see your computer menu to help you boot from flash. Sometimes it's always um, F9 or um, the F10 key or some computers use um, delete key. So once you've done that, it's going to bring up this screen and then you can select install. So I'm going to select install now. Yeah. And um, we wait for it to, to show um, what, what we need to do. So now it told us to press enter to begin the installation process, which I'm just going to do now. And then you can follow along as, as um, oh, it's, it's showing on different um, things at the background. So you might um, be interested to know that um, CentOS seem to be one of the most um, secured um, operating systems, but um, it's, 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 it's totally not proven but um, we will we'll look at different um, different commands and, and all of that so you select your language and your keyboard and then you click on continue so um, yeah so you can select your date your keyboard and every other thing and all of that so you might just have to wait for some while for it to show um, the installation source and then the type of um, functionality you want to install i downloaded the minimal version you could download the full version and all of that and get a full installation but i'm going to do a minimal version because um, i don't want all of other things installed um, I, because i need to set this up for for um, a server so here you click on the installation destination where you want it installed so i'm clicking on this or probably you can want to um, add disk and do a whole lot of other partition here. But I'm going to use the full disk. Um, so, um, but right now it's telling me um, I need to select a disk. So, which I've done that, and um, I click on done. And uh, here, then I can decide to do my connection settings and and uh, all of that right now. But I could always do that later and I can click on configure to, to set all, all of this. And um, for me, it's just going to be with setting up the operating system. So I'm just going to do a cancel. Then your host name, you might probably just want to want to do something. But I'm just going to leave this. We're going to, in the later um, video, we're going to see how to configure the host name. So I'm clicking on done and I click on begin installation. So now I need to set my root password. So what's my root password? I set that. Um, so what? It's it's quite um fairly weak. But I'm I'm if if you're using it on a live server, I'm sure you you want to make sure it is it is a secured um password. But just for um training sake, I'm just going to do that user creation I'm, I'm just going to leave it so that i can always use my root user but if you're having so many people having to to log on you, you you'll see all of that so you, you might need to follow through 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 this um training so that you can see how aside from setting up the um the operating system we're also going to set up a hosting um hosting environment where you could also host and do a whole lot of other other stuffs so i've done my settings i'm just going to wait for for it to um finish up the installation and uh, all of that you might want to sit back watch or you join me as um, when it's done so now the installation is finally completed and then you can click on reboot and um, 
you wait till um, whatever it, it needs to do see that um, okay now once once that is done you your sent OS is going to to load up so now I'm going to log in as Ruth and my password yeah so let me check the disk space we, we used for the installation I had a disk space of 9 gigabyte so and now we can see that the total installation took about approximately um, a gigabyte because it was a minimal installation then I can then do my new update and to to get other other updates so join me in the next um the next episode of of the training and then you can see how to use different um, sh um different commands set up the uh, the hosting environment and all of that please subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can get more more tutorials coming up